The news is finally here. The Air Jordan 4 I'm Amon Ye is set to release this year and we finally see official images and looks at the shoe. I know there has been a lot of talk when it comes to this sneaker and I personally have the Jordan 1, 2, and 3 in my collection. So you know I'm gonna be going after the fourth pair as well. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys updates like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. So I kind of want to cover a couple of different topics when it comes to the Jordan 4 and everybody's impressions behind it. And then the overall state of the Amar Manye Air Jordan collaborations, because this could potentially even be the end of their run. And I'll explain a little bit later in the video when I talk about the end of their run. But for now, let's take some looks at the shoe real quick just so we can kind of see what it looks like and what everybody was originally thinking they were thinking the shoe was going to be. So when we first saw the original renditions of the Air Jordan 4 Amam and Ye, it looked very similar to the Air Jordan 3. And I had personally already known that it wasn't going to be that color blocking, but at the same time, all I could do was wait and see what the final result was going to be because I knew it was going to be some type of purple sneaker, but I didn't know exactly what that shade of purple was going to look like and how they decided to do the color blocking and the schemes on the shoe. And then recently over the past couple of days, we saw a picture leak on the internet of the pair in hand so this is what the actual pair is going to be looking like right here and as you can see quality materials design aspects all the elements of the sneaker look really really nice and I think they took a couple different design elements when it comes to the three different versions right here and decided to add that and also give it a switch up when it comes to the overall tone and color of the base color of the shoe so when you look at the AMA one two and three you can see it has that kind of sale color that vintage vibe to it a white tone shoe basically to say the least a pretty bright sneaker and then on the four they're giving us a different switch up when it comes to the purple suede now another thing that we also saw is later this year we're expected to see the air jordan 12 in two different iterations i'm not exactly sure if it's going to be like a friends and family and then the other one drops to the public or if they're going to actually end up releasing both colorways but essentially those are going to be a white and black version with that same kind of burgundy vibe on the mud guard of the sneaker as well and as you can see from those detailed shots the material look like they are a1 and that's definitely one thing that i do love about the ama Minye air jordan collaborations in particular because every single one of these models they have come correct there's a commonality when it comes to the sock liners when it's got that quilted satin sock liners and all the different details and the nice aspects but i think each shoe in their own ways have a lot of cool details to them and i'm definitely excited to see a more simple color blocking type air jordan 12 colorway even to see the little details that they may add to whether it may be the pull tag or the hang tag or even just the materials or loan that they decide to do in the sock liner or the insole because if you look at the air jordan 4 right here they actually did a quilted insole insole on here now when you look at the insole on these first three models they don't have that quilted insole it just has the ama and the jordan branding on there which isn't a problem but you can see typically when it comes to an air jordan 4 collaboration or jordan pe or jordan 4 sample or whatever you want to call it they always go extra hard when it comes to the Jordan 4 model. We have seen the Wahlbergs and then this and then that and everybody hyping up all these different things with the Travis Scott's, you name it. So I can understand why they gave it their all when it came to the Air Jordan 4 colorway. Now, some people might say they're disappointed because they were expecting the other version, which looks very similar to the Air Jordan 3. So I can understand why they did decide to switch it up because it's easy to kind of get those two shoes mixed up. They are very similar with the back tabs and the colorways. If you had a white cement 3, and a white cement four. You can see the commonalities between the shoes, so I could understand why they decided to kind of switch that up. And honestly, I'm not mad at it. One thing that I can say is, I'm waiting to see the shoe in person, so we can see the final looks at the details of the styles, cuts, materials, and especially that color. I wanna see what that color looks like in person. I'm also interested to see how you guys feel about this shoe. Make sure you guys drop comments down below in the comment section, and let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you plan on going after? And then that's also the next question. Do you think they're starting to overdo it? We already got the Air Jordan 2, right? That just came out recently a few months ago. Now the Jordan 4 is coming out. And then we're expecting to see two Jordan 12 colorways at the end of the year. That's going to be four AMA drops in a single year. They're starting to ramp up the collaborations. So that kind of draws my next question. Typically when we see these collaborations starting to come in hot, either you're going to have that, that union effect and you see different variations, whether it may be through Jordan brand and Nike. So now you got set of dunks, 
you got Cortez's, different stuff like that. And you got different models with the twos, the ones, the fours, a whole bunch of different colorways. Is that gonna be something that we're gonna see with this where we're gonna have potentially three different Ama threes and a couple different ones and a couple different fours and multiple 12s and different numbers and stuff like that? Are we gonna see that? Or is it gonna be like Jordan Brand is giving us everything that they got because they know that Ama is hot right now and then they're gonna potentially just cut them off and that's gonna be the end of the run and then that's all we're gonna kinda see and the Ama collaborations may trickle off over the next year or two. So there's a lot of different ways to look at it and how it could all happen. I'm interested to see how you guys feel about the situation. I know when it comes to collaborations, we think about Travis Scott and Off-White are two of the main heavy hitters when it comes to collaborations. Off-White has like the most collaborations. They got like what, 90 different shoes that have come out already. There's a lot of different Off-White models and not every single one hits and has a crazy resale and everybody wants all the shoes and all that stuff. I completely get it. Right now in this state with just a few different models, they're doing really, really good. But are they gonna be able to withstand that hype, that demand, and that dope colorways and the designs and all that stuff in the future when they get, you know, 10, 15, 20 models deep into their collaborations, which is something that's really hard to do. It is something that is very possible because right now, as we see Travis Scott in particular, he's got what, like 10, 15 different collaborations that have come out to the public and a lot of different models and variations of the each colors. And even the Travis Mocha one lows, right? Those are coming out and then we're expected to see a black version coming out and a reverse version with the black and the white so there's a lot of different stuff coming out right now kind of just wanted to raise the conversation with you guys and hear what you think about collaborations and demand and shoes that are set to drop and what you guys are expecting for these is this going to be the sneaker of the year are these going to be the best air jordan fours of the year there's a lot of questions that a lot of people have been asking i'm interested to hear what you guys think as well so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section as always we're here to conversate have a good time give you guys updates and share my opinions with you as well and yes i'm going to be going after the fours i'm looking forward to adding those to the collection i'm a collector i like completing sets and everything so it only makes sense to go after the fours and the 12s and whatever it is but if the shoe is just completely trash don't get me wrong i'm not going to complete everything in the set because there have been some times where you see sets and you're like yeah i don't really need all those prime example the pistachio nike union dunk low i really like that colorway and there was three that came out but that was my favorite one i didn't i wasn't mad if i didn't get the other ones would like to have them in my collection to add them get them at a decent price if i could but i didn't want to be like oh i'm gonna go pay resale just to have these to complete the set i think sometimes you also have to understand like do you really want the shoe how bad do you want it are you willing to pay that price does it make sense like do you really want those so we always got to kind of make those decisions as well because there's just so many shoes coming out and we obviously we don't need every single shoe so i get that aspect as well but as collectors as sneakerheads, right we always want everything pokemon gotta catch them all i get it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this i think that should be good i'll see you guys in another one if you got any topics or conversation that you guys want to talk about in a style video like this let me know down below in the comment section i'll give you guys updates or insights whatever you need i'll see you on another one all right y'all bye, -bye. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.